Hey everybody, this is Elwin coming back. Some more Factorio Pole World. So, let's see. Last time I ended with uh, some creation of um, some engines here. I'm going to change this a little bit to 50, like one stack to 90. Because I think. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm wrong. So I thought it was 30. Uh, engines for a locomotive, and it's not, so I'm going to change that to 80. That way, if I want, I can always make two trains on command. So that's good. Um, it's increasing the efficiency on our smelters while we wait. Still need to set up. Here we go. We got. We got some rails, that's good. Okay, so now we can kind of kick this map into high gear. <clears throat> okay, so the left side is going to be my northbound train, and the right will be my southbound, and that's restricted only because of the signals. And that is totally okay. There we go. Just gotta remember that. So, um, I have biters to the south. I definitely need to go south first. Um, but to go south, I need some weapons. So let's <laughs> set that up right now. Hey, grenades. Excellent. Grenades will be helpful, I think. Should automate this, I know, but I don't need a ton, I think, right now. That's 65. That's give me an even hundred. And then we'll make a boatload of grenades. Eight seconds per grenade. It's going to take a long time to craft all of this. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> That's interesting. That's cool. Okay. Science than need to, but whatever, I'll just drop it. Okay. And green science. Let's trigger that science screen so I don't have to look at the flashing anymore. There, and that will help. Um, Let's also do two. These are temporary fixtures. This is not not gonna stay. And then some shotgun shells. So that's copper. It's really messy, um, <laughs> but it's not going to last long. I hope. If this lasts more than like two episodes, then I've done something wrong. Okay, um, and I've got some armor. Yeah, that's not really worth it right now. Got some fish. I'm gonna be good. 
Is there anything that I need to help my trains? I don't think so. Let's just get some research done. I'm going to steal all of this steel. <laughs> um, because I'm going to need it. For all of these furnaces. I think that's pretty important. Steel and stone. So... Yeah, um, also not great, but <laughs> whatever. And another one of these, so. And if I do this, I will wire up this box to that asserter because steel is definitely the limiter and then tell it if I have fewer than let's say a full stack 50 of these then it needs to pull steel off the, um, off the steel line um, and if it doesn't then it just needs to chill Holy smokes. <laughs> Pushing the wrong button. There. Okay, so that's uh, it's good enough for now. those so I've got enough to protect myself at least for the time being um, now look at all these um, is that good I mean that's probably okay for now yeah it's 49 yeah okay I'm gonna tear this all up uh, hopefully this will last me a good uh, good expedition, so I can take out at least the two bases that I can see to the south. I hope. I really hope that's going to be enough. I mean, they shouldn't be strong. I'm right at the very beginning of the game, so... It's a Farrell take. Farrell is a diesel locomotive. Oh, that's not much more than a normal locomotive. <clears throat> Steel, of course. So I'm going to make a diesel locomotive and I'll make a Farrell and I am going to have to. I don't think I'm going to make, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to put everybody through my learning process of Farl. I will probably do that in between the next, um, yeah, between the next video or the, the end of this one and the next one. So, uh, and then I'll just figure out Farl and go all the way to the south and, um, you know, maybe lay some track in the next episode, but I don't, I don't want it to fiddle around with Farl here. So. But this is great. Wow, four furnaces hitting the big time. So I've got yeah, seven hours still worth of <laughs> still uh, worth of my iron patch there. That's nice. The arm is incredibly useful. If you don't use it, I recommend it. Oh my, that's interesting. Oh. Looks like they're sharing one little patch.
<clears throat> Excuse me. How's my power? My power is almost maxed out, so uh, I guess that's what I'm doing this time. One, two, three, more of those. Gonna have to make this a little differently now. And I think I'm gonna have to set up some more miners. Okay. Um, can't set those up until that's done, and I need well, I'm going to tear this up a little bit. That just killed the entire base. Printer's doing something, and my printer should be off. That's interesting. Well, less interesting and more concerning, right? I knew that wasn't going to reach. That won't reach either. Huh. Um. Boy, I am more stumped at this than I should be. So it'll do. It's a little weird, um, but ultimately it's fine. Probably don't need that radar anymore. I don't think it's going to find anymore. Feel pretty good about my resources right now. My iron oh, dips, fluctuates a little bit, you know, depending on how much I'm using it at any given time. Oops, didn't finish that tree. Between under six hours and over seven hours, so. I have a little bit of give there. out set up some more power chopping trees setting up powers you know what makes factorio such a, an exciting game right
finish batteries. Should probably use solar panels. Gosh, landfill would be very useful here. Move that, that's gonna mess with everything. Uh, where does this go? Okay, so it's gotta be there, and I've got one, two, three, four, five. Shell 13, okay. Now crumbs, that's not ideal. It's not ideal at all. <laughs> oh gosh, I don't want to do that. Hmm. Nope, don't like that. doing it anyway. Damn it. It's stupid. It's stupid and I don't like it. Don't like it at all. Oh yeah. Some more iron plates, so I need to go finish up. I'll finish up some of this stuff. I gotta run all the way back. I'm very pleased with my science setup. It's it's very very um, fast. I don't think that's the biggest science setup I've ever made, but it's pretty big as far as my experience goes. Mm -mm, coffee in the morning is one of life's little pleasures. Come here, fishy. Okay, so we've got guns, we've got that. We have just a couple of minutes until the end of this episode, and yeah, well, you can't have... Hmm, I wonder if you can hear that. Sounds like White Christmas on the TV in the other room. Oh yeah, that's definitely White Christmas. <laughs> It's Christmas time. You gotta have white Christmas on. It's just what happens. <laughs> oh gosh, now I'm gonna be laughing the entire time. Okay. It's not that white Christmas itself makes me happy. You know, it's just the fact that I can hear it. Okay, so I think that's a really good way to get that all set up. Um, by doing these um, iron furnaces first, because steel is so important. So, yeah, uh, I'm gonna end it there. I know it's a little, maybe a little shorter than normal, but that's all right. Uh, next time, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna have learned Farl, and we will be in business with my trains. So, thanks for watching. See you next time.